Ladies and gentlemen, we are currently holding for further traffic clearance. Check out Kristen's new website, MagicalJourneysVacations.com for all your vacation needs. Disney, Universal, Cruise Lines, and more. Thank you for traveling with us. MagicalJourneysVacations.com Have her book your magical vacation today. Listening to a Weeby Geeks Network podcast. The Dining at Disney Podcast. The Dining at Disney Podcast. You know the thing about good food? It brings folks together from all walks of life. Your ultimate source for the wonderful world of dining at the Disneyland and Walt Disney World Resort. If you are what you eat, then I only want to eat the good stuff. Kristen and Bubba are your guides on this culinary adventure. People are going to line up for miles around just to get a taste of my food. Food. Join them as they discuss the latest food news, expert tips, recommendations, and trip planning advice as it relates to Disney dining. Try the gray stuff. It's delicious. Don't believe me? Ask the dishes. From quick service to fine dining, you'll discover all the best restaurants and food as you hungrily explore the Disney parks. Let's do this thing! The Dining at Disney podcast. And now your hosts, Kristen and Bubba. Welcome to another episode of the Dining at Disney podcast, your ultimate source for delicious discussion about dining at Disneyland and Disney World. I am your host, Foodie Kristen, and with me is former cast member, Bubba. Bubba, we've got a good show that we're going to be doing today. This is going to be a a fun one, um, and this will be, it's a good show for both like first time visitors as well as those who have been many times like we have yeah if you have to eat a podcast this is going to be the one to eat right here <laughs> you're gonna eat this one up all day so this okay. is gonna be a nice delicious podcast so i right think here. we should tell them it is a, this one is our favorite the best snacks the things you need to have of when it when it comes to visiting the parks so yes. oh yeah we've got we've got nice lists going on and i'm sure we're going to overlap some we will, so, yeah, because we haven't we, we haven't talked about our list yet. We're kind of like keeping it a little bit surprise for us. So, I told you one, but you know, we'll we'll both agree on it too. So, <laughs> I'm gonna start with the Mickey Premium Bar. To me, that's one of those things mm. that everybody has to have at some point in a Disney trip, whether it be your first Disney trip or your 30th Disney trip. It doesn't matter. At some point, you have got to try these premium bars. It's mm. shaped like a Mickey, and it's a dark chocolate and vanilla ice cream and very tasty. Yum. Yes, I think I've had a couple of those are at, over at our park. Yeah, they are very tasty. We actually I mean, got that's... one of those for a magical moment once um, when we were on our honeymoon. A cast member said, congratulations, here you go. Here's the Mickey bar. Oh, that's nice. I had to pay for mine. Should have said it was my anniversary. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that's a little secret for you guys. Just say it's your anniversary. Maybe you might score a free Mickey bar. (laughs) You never know. You never know what cast member you're going to get and what kind of mood they're in and and how generous they want to be. So That is very true. Yeah, you might. You might shine for a cast member and they'll treat you with some nice Disney magic too, just like they did giving you that bar. So that's nice. How nice of them. Well, I'll go with mine. I'll go. So we're going to, yeah, because we got a nice long list. So we're going to, we don't have to go through all the details. I kind of broke mine down into lands, but. uh, Okay. That's good. You know, uh, so if you're ever on Main Street, you know, all my snacks have to do with kind of like you're, you want to eat while you're like walking around the park, you know, so. This one is one of my favorites, and it's the French apple pie caramel apple, which you can get at any arcade um, over on Main Street. And I try to get one every time I go to the park. And, um, you know, it's a, they have the best caramel apples, best candy apples there. But this one is just a little bit more special. It's a green apple covered in caramel. Then they uh, sprinkle it with the... Um, uh, like a powder dust, uh, kind of like an apple pie. Well, you would with that. And then at the bottom, it's a nice thick crust halfway through the bottom. And then on top, they kind of layer it with, um, uh, you know, breading with the, uh, uh, kind of like how the French apple pie is. And yes, this thing is one of the best things. I always, I always get it every time. 
basically every time I buy one of these. And it's a good thing too because you can also, you know, take it home with you, but I like eating it while I'm on the go. Um, you know, while I'm walking around the park and usually sometimes people stop me and ask me, "Where'd you get that? That looks delicious." I'm like, "Oh, go over to the Penny Arcade. They got plenty of them there." Um, you know, they also have the decorative ones like that, like the Mickey uh, Sorcerer Hat and whatever theme is going on with that season. But the French Apple Pie Caramel Apple, definitely one of my favorites at the Penny Arcade on Main Street. Well, I'm go my, my list, I'm starting off. So you're doing yours by land. I'm just starting off <laughs> with the ones that you can, you can find in numerous locations. And mine is along the same lines. And it is a car any of the specialty caramel apples because they are always good. And there's some really, I mean, they do a really good job with um, the seasonal ones. And they're super cute. Yes. Like they'll have Mickey and Minnie Mouse dressed up an apple that's kind of dressed like Halloween. Or they'll do uh, a special one for St. Patrick's Day that's green and he has like a little um, kind of like a <laughs> leprechaun hat on, you know, those kinds yeah. of things. Uh, so I think those are definitely something everybody has to try as one of the specialty apples yes. at some point, whether it be like the one you mentioned yes. or a, a really cute character one. I'm like throwing my pen around in here. Oops. <laughs> Oh. So what's next on your list, Bubba? My next on my list. So we're still sticking to Main Street. Uh, you know, corn dogs are probably one of the top things. You know, obviously everybody has to have a corn dog at Disneyland, but this one place just makes it a little bit more special and it's worth the wait, the long line. It's that's the red wagon corn dog cart over on Main Street, right by the Plaza Inn. I always talk about this on the podcast. Even it was one of Walt's favorites. He would even work inside the Red Wagon cart sometimes and surprise guests, you know, by working in there. Uh, even my wife, Taylor, when she was a cast member, she got to work in the Red Wagon corn dog cart. Oh, nice. Was, so, uh, you know, this, uh, you can always, uh, you know, if you want to wait in the line sometimes, it could be like a 30 minute wait. But that's what makes it special is that it, there's a lot of history when it comes to that Red Wagon uh, cart. And the corn dogs always come out phenomenal there. Uh, you can have your choice of with chips or with uh, apple slices. And it's a nice snack to just walk around the park with. Um, you know, sometimes you'll even get a lucky cast member who will, you know, show you. I think there's a couple pictures that are inside the Red Wagon cart, you know, with Walt working inside the cart. Um, you know, sometimes they'll, they'll display them outside too, uh, which they used to, I don't know if they do anymore, but like I said, the red wagon cart has a lot of history when it comes to Disney. It was probably, I think it was there when the park first opened. So, you know, that grab a corn dog from that particular spot. If, you know, first timers, it's definitely, it's a must right there. Definitely. You know, there's a lot of other places you can get corn dogs at, you know, over at, uh, Frontierland or in Disney, California. Uh, but. This one, uh, just go try it and let take some pictures too with the red wagon cart. It's there's history there, history, 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 which is what I love about Disney. I need to try that because I have yet to have a corn dog there. Ah, yeah, yeah. I've been to the corn dog castle, but I have not yes. had one at the at the red wagon. I need to do that next time. Yeah, the corn dog castle is always fun to go to all seals, but you know, like I said, red wagon all the way. So another item that you can get at various locations is a turkey leg. And mm. I'm not a fan of the turkey leg. I think it's a little too, it's too greasy for me. However, you have to at least try a turkey leg at some point. And I say, if you're not so sure about it, ha share it with a friend, share it with a family member. Yes. Share your turkey yes. leg. And that way you can say, I have had a Disney turkey leg because they are enormous. I mean, they're like, it's a whole meal in, in and of itself. <laughs> yeah, it is. And, you know, I, I'm kind of with you there when it comes to the taste of the turkey leg. I'm very, I'm not big on turkey uh, or leg, but, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but, um, you know, the first time I had one, I wasn't too impressed. You know, I thought it wasn't, uh, you know, did a touch of salt. It was cooked perfect, though. It was very tender. You know, I don't know how they cook them. Uh, over there very tender the meat comes right off the bone and uh, you know share it with somebody for your first time so that way you can get a feel like you know do I is this something I could eat all by myself 
<laughs> yeah, because some people are all about the turkey leg. Like it is, it is a tradition for them to every time they go to Disney to have a turkey leg. Yes, it is. Um, so yeah, it's definitely, definitely a must do. I think. And it is not an emu leg, by the way. It is turkey, not emu. <laughs> I understand yes. where the whole that whole rumor that it was emu, where in the world that came from. But uh, you can't do that. Like it's against the law to sell something and, and call it something else. You know exactly. Uh, but oh well, you know, enjoy it. The turkey leg, always famous. So I'm gonna move over to Adventureland. Uh, where Indiana Jones is, Tarzan's Treehouse. They have the Bengal Barbecue, which is another favorite for people that visit. The, you know, low APs love it. Um, you know, first timers, it's definitely something you want to try. Not that big of a menu. They have a lot of skewers, a lot of dessert skewers tour uh, too. But um, is the uh, is the meat barbecue with the? It's called the. Uh, well, there's two of them that I love. One of them's a safari skewer. And it's just bacon wrapped asparagus, cuts of uh, asparagus wrapped in bacon. You get about six cuts on the skewer and favorite things when I had it last time. Also the Bengal beef skewer with the sweet uh, Zulu sauce. That was another favorite of mine. Uh, I tried, I think I tried them about a year ago, last time I had it and it tasted phenomenal. Uh, you know, it's always something good you can walk around the park with and eat and enjoy. Also share with other people, um, you know, and it's a quick snack. It's only $5 for the meat skewer, $4.50 for the uh, bacon wrap skewer. And, uh, you know, that's still before your AP discount too. So if you're an AP, it's even cheaper and it's a great, uh, it's a great snack. Some cheap for you to grab to share with too with the family. Um, and that's over by Adventureland, right? I think, yeah, right across from Indiana Jones Line. Yep. It's tasty. Yes. Yes, it is. And this is going to be my last one that you can get in various locations. And it's going to be a Rice Krispie treat because Disney mm -hmm. does some really cool Rice Krispie treats in the shape of Mickey dipped in, you know, chocolate and then drizzled with white chocolate and, you know, some <laughs> some different icings on there, colored icings and stuff. So it's it's a fun treat. Uh, it's very tasty. Um not the healthiest of, of Disney treats, but it's good. I love the. I think I had one the last time I was there. If I, uh, yeah, yeah, you you had left because the last time we were there, you were there, and yeah, it was the day after, I believe, or something like that. And the one but thing I is, one, yeah, I was always living there. You can always take them home too. For you know, they they make nice like gifts to give people. You know, yes family members and stuff when you come home from a trip like hey i brought you something hey i brought you a rice krispie treat i mean they're pretty good they're yeah because if you um if you do want to gift them they can wrap them in a clear plastic bag for you if you just wanted to eat it around they'll give you like a paper bag for it but same with the uh the apples too they'll um they're they're great gifts to give out too as a you know gift snacks from disneyland mm -hmm. yeah so yeah rice krispie treats that's a good one right there uh we're going to stick to Adventureland and stick to the most famous uh, over in the park, and that's the Tiki Juice Bar over by the Tiki Room. The, the world-famous Dole Whip is served there, which basically rolled out everything pineapple you could think of at Disney, thanks to Dole. Uh, which are, aren't that pricey. They're still like four fifty, five dollars $5 a piece. Um, you can get the Dole Whip float. You can get pineapple skewers there. But, you know, the, the original soft serve Dole Whip is something you must try. And I know you definitely agree with me about that. Yes, because that was actually the next thing I was going to mention on my list uh, <laughs> in Magic Kingdom is, uh, I, I, you know, actually, I prefer the, the Dole Whip float. And I get it with the, you know, the pineapple Dole Whip uh, ice cream. And then it's got pineapple juice with it, and it's so uh, tasty. And you but can yeah. now get it with alcohol over at, I want to say one of the hotels over at, either in the, uh, I, isn't it over uh, Grand California, I believe, or oh, Disneyland right. Hotel. Yes, you can get rum inside your Dole Whip, which they do that at I'm Epcot happy. for food and wine too. Uh, for food and wine, with the yeah. Oh, that's to try that so that's something i will try in the future and hopefully 
ours at Magic Kingdom can be found at Aloha Isle, which is also an adventure land. All right. Nice. So, yeah, Dole Whip, top of the list right there. Must try. What else you got, Bob? So, uh, all right. We're going to, as you're walking through, we got Frontierland. So we're going to stick to something that's on the secret menu. You've probably seen like a lot of videos online for secret menu stuff, but this was some I've had for years that was on the secret menu over at the Golden Horseshoe, and that is the ice cream nachos. Yum, yum, give me some. It's got, <laughs> they just uh, di chop up a couple waffle cones, dust, you know, stick them at the bottom, three scoops of ice cream. Uh, chocolate, vanilla, and uh, strawberry, I believe, or you can just do all chocolate or all vanilla. And then they basically go to town with it with chocolate syrup, whipped cream, cherries. You can have nuts on there if you want to on top. And it's great to share. Um, you know, if you do want to sit down real quick and enjoy it in a nice air conditioned golden horseshoe, that is definitely something you could do, or you can walk around with it around the park. Uh, just don't do it on a very hot day, which is starting to get to now over here in California. <laughs> we finally saw our first 100-degree weather last week. Ugh, Ooh. Well, it's funny because it was 104 on Thursday. Saturday, it dropped down to 70. Yeah, 70, like 60-something, and it was raining. So that's California for you. <laughs> yeah, we recently hit, we were in the low 90s, and it rained, and the temperatures dropped into, like, the high 50s, and everybody's like, oh, my gosh, oh, it's wow. winter. <laughs> So, so, like, you know, the ice cream nachos is definitely some you could, you should have at the Golden Horseshoe. Like I said, it's not on the menu, so you do have to just mention it. Yeah, can I do the ice cream nachos? And they will gladly serve it for you. Next on my list is LeFou's Brew. I'm going with a drink. It's a frozen drink, and you can get it at Gaston's Tavern in New Fantasyland. And it is like frozen apple juice, and they put marshmallow syrup in with it. And I always Ooh. ask for an extra pump of marshmallow. It makes it even better. So if wow. you that and I'm not I don't really like apple juice. So the that makes that drink like where I like it and I want to drink it. Uh the first time I had it, it I had it the original way. And somebody had, uh -huh. I think a cast member had actually told me, like, oh, we'll put an extra pump in it if you don't really like, you know, apple juice. So then that's what I ended yeah, up doing this time and trying it that way. You're not it's better. Yeah, you're not driving home. Get another shot. Take another shot. You ain't driving. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and yeah, that's in uh, New Fantasy Land that you can get that over at Gaston's yeah. Tavern. Well, sticking to Frontier Land for me, Rancho del Zocalo, great food over there. One of some of the best Mexican food you can have, but they do have a good snack that you can grab on the go. They're already bagged ready for you. And that's the cinnamon chips or the lime chips. Have you had these? I don't know if you've had these. I have not. I've seen them, but I haven't had them yet. Yes, they're super super good snack to share with the family they're not too expensive and you know it's something that you just just want to grab quick the lime chips they got a great hint of lime to them you know it's not overpowering uh you know the cinnamon chips though good it's, it's, they're so crisp the cinnamon and sugar flavored is times especially as you go towards the bottom where all the crumbs are which is one of my favorite mm. things <laughs> yeah but the you know the cinnamon chips and light chips over at rancho dos ocolo you should always grab a bag of those even take grab a bag to take home too or to gift because they're already pre-bagged and you know sealed up and ready for, ready to go so yeah try those well I haven't tried those because every time I'm there, your wife's got me hooked on the carne asada. So I always get the carne asada anymore. But next time I need I need to do that. Entrees? Yeah, we'll yeah. we'll grab a bag. Yeah, we're gonna grab a bag next time you're here. So I'm gonna head over now to Epcot and I'm going to suggest getting they have a croissant donut and it's Everybody calls it a cronut and it's flaky cronut. and it's got tons of like sugar and cinnamon on it, like all coated in it. And it is a very nice, like sweet snack to mm. have. And it's available at the refreshment port, which is in the World Showcase area. I never knew they had cronuts. I wish they had, I don't know if they have cronuts over here or croissant donuts. I've had one before. Well, it was really good actually. Yeah. But it wasn't from Disney. Yeah, it's pretty tasty. 
It is. Oh, that's good. So let's stick over, go over to Fantasyland. There's only one place, and I haven't tried this, but everybody has been raving about it online. They just turned the Village House into the Red Rose Tavern, and they do have, you know, that is Beauty and the Beast. They do have the gray stuff, but this dessert they said is even better than the gray stuff, and that's the lemon rose cake. I've heard phenomenal reviews about it. It's a beautiful lemon uh, cake uh, on top, shaped as a rose. They put uh, a couple sprinkles on there to give it that, you know, like rose effect on top, and it has a strawberry rose filling, which kind of looks like raspberry. Uh, very tasty, they say. And then the thin chocolate cookie crust at the bottom. So you got kind of like three flavors all rolled into one there. And it they said it's not overpowering. So when I go to the park, I am going to try this. I wanted to try it last time. I just couldn't get to it because everybody was in line for the Rose Cup. <laughs> <laughs> I want one of Which those. They're still they're so cool. cool. Well, luckily, one of my friends got one of the disc twins who I guess you guys talked to. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you guys talked to on a room she got me a cup so when i get there i have oh, to nice. go. yeah she put on facebook that oh i heard that they have the rose cups back tonight so she zoomed over there and got in line right before they closed and she happened to score herself three of them and she's like wow. i got you one i'm like yes <laughs> uh, <everybody. laughs> so you know thanks for that uh i think it was sarah sarah and rebecca so thank you for grabbing me that cup. But laugh, the lemon rose cake. Try it out. What you think if you happen to try before I do. Um, and yeah, like I said, it's beautiful too, the way they prepare this. Well, I'm going to now head to the France Pavilion and Epcot and get the brioche ice cream sandwich. And mm. it's fresh made brioche. And the ice cream and everything is made there. Um, in the France Pavilion, but they make have these fantastic flavors of ice cream, and they put the ice cream in between the uh, fresh brioche. And got, uh, you know, it's it to me, it's a nice alternative if you want something sweet but not too sweet, because you don't the you know the brioche isn't sweet, so it kind of mellows out that instead of like an ice cream sandwich where it's sweet cookie with sweet ice cream yeah. so yeah it's really good Ooh, especially fresh brioche oh oh just yeah. thinking of that right there wow they should bring that over here and where where was they that where can you find great, that they make a lot of great stuff in the france pavilion um the particular place that this is at is la artisan de glossier it's their ice cream shop that they have but there's also like another restaurant quick service place that's back behind it and they have tons and tons of like sandwiches and salads and all kinds of pastries and stuff i mean it's it's an amazing pavilion for snacking i mean you could just eat all kinds of desserts and stuff there nice there i'm gonna have to try i'm i'm afraid if i go there i'm not gonna leave that pavilion area with all the different <laughs> lands i'm just gonna go to town <laughs> it's easy there's so much good stuff in the world showcase all those countries uh, well let's go over to new orleans square for me not much at new orleans square there's maybe like one or two places but um right now you can get you know, churros are everything when you go to the park, but the golden churro, which they're having for the Pirates uh, 50th the over at Disneyland. I don't know if they have these at Walt Disney World. We don't have the golden churros. Right now, we've got the red and blue lightsaber churros going on. Which just started over at Disneyland, too. I think it just started a couple days ago. Mm -hmm. um, the red and, yeah, the red and blue ones. Uh, but the golden churro, wow. When I had that mind away, um, you know, it's just instead of the cinnamon and sugar, they put the lemon uh, gold flakes on top or, you know, roll it in. And I talked about this on a, when we talked about the Pirates thing. It tasted just, it reminded me of Lucky Charms. You had the lemon Lucky Charms and that flavor just hit you. And, you know, a lot of people prefer the golden churro over the regular churro right now. And then same thing over in New Orleans Square. You can go get, I mean, Mickey-shaped beignets, which are the best beignets you can have because they use the Cafe Du Monde mix. Uh, oh, nice. 
yeah, they use that actual mix, but they also do the um, two with the same lemon flakes um, on there. Try it out over at the, the Golden Churro, only in New Orleans Square, though. You can't get it anywhere else except in New Orleans Square, which is uh, right in the uh, in front of uh, the French Market restaurant, yes. Nice. My next yeah. thing is I'm heading over to Germany Pavilion, and my first suggestion there is the caramel corn from Caramel Kuchen. Uh, it is Werther's caramel that they use and don't get it bagged there is like bagged like pre-bagged ones but you want to get it fresh because the fresh mm. stuff is incredible it is nice. i mean you, you want it when it's hot and it they just finished making it um and and it's just yeah it's just the best caramel corn you can get and you can watch them make it too when you go into the shop there's like a big kettle and you can see them like tossing the caramel all over the uh, popcorn and stuff so it's it's fun to watch too i love the window the love the windows of seeing everyone making the candy or you know like when you walk uh, up main street you can see them walking making the peanut chocolate cl clusters or chocolate dipped strawberries or the little uh, toffee bars with the rolled in chocolate and nuts. Yeah, I've seen those are those. There. And then if you go during winter, you can see them make the big giant candy canes, uh, which are huge, by the way. They're like this big. I mean, huge. It's um, like a foot? And maybe a little bit bigger. Yeah. I, I think I have one somewhere around. I, I still have mine. We ate one and we kept the other one. <laughs> Just because <laughs> it's too big. It's to big. It. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it was too big. I couldn't even finish mine. I mean, it was so big. So uh, yeah, but I like the little windows where you can see them make everything for you, which is nice. Over Fantasyland, uh, we're still. I yeah. Oh, I think I left. Uh, not Fantasyland. Still in New Orleans Square. Um, Oh, no, sorry. This move. So New Orleans Square did have the stuffed potatoes, but they moved them back over to the Troubadour in Fantasyland right by uh, the uh, Snow White Theater where they do uh, Mickey and the Magical Map. So over at the Troubadour, they have one of my favorites. And this is a great, uh, you know, if you're not, a, the broccoli and cheese stuffed baked potato. And it's a huge giant baked potato, um, you know, and Nice cuts of broccoli, tender broccoli, and beef, and not beef, uh, cheese, a cheese sauce on top. And they do sprinkle a couple of, you know, some real cheese on it too. And it just melts all over the potato. Definitely one of my favorite, uh, you know, baked potatoes there. They also have a chili one, which I kind of get sometimes too, if you do want that meat, uh, you know, meat and beans. But the broccoli and cheese stuff baked potato, a good snack to have around. It's also big enough to share too if, uh, you know, you got somebody else with you. And that's over at the Troubadour by uh, in Fantasyland. And since I said the caramel corn was the first of mine, my second item <laughs> is the giant pretzel uh, that they have in the Germany Pavilion. I mean, it is, it's, it's bigger than your head, Bubba. It is like enormous oh. pretzel. Probably about like a, a foot by maybe like nine inches something like that i mean it's a giant giant pretzel definitely something oh. you could share with somebody and uh, oh. they only have those in the germany pavilion and for anybody that has ever been to munich and has seen the giant pretzels at the hofbrauhaus house they're the same size they're that big giant you know munich style pretzel and yes i cannot wait to get those another one can you get those? Are they like plain or do they like come in? Like, can you get them salted or? They're just salted. They're all just. They're just salted. Pretzel. Yeah. They're good though. Yeah. I've seen the pictures of those and they're huge. Wow. I wish I had some like that over here. See, I love doing the pretzel and the beer and that is like the perfect snack for me. It makes me very can happy. You, can you eat the whole pretzel? I could eat the whole pretzel, but I like to share my pretzel. <laughs> <laughs> That way I can eat uh, something else, too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, over in Critter Country, which is uh, towards the end of uh, yeah, Adventureland, past the uh, Haunted Mansion, they have the Hungry Bear Restaurant. And this is 
lot of people rave over this ever since they brought it over. They've started, you know, experimenting with different funnel cakes. They had the French apple funnel cake, which was, uh, you know, uh, on top with whipped cream. They also have a churro funnel cake, but this one is taking the cake, and it's the blueberry lemon funnel cake. Um, over at Mouse Pyre, they tried it. And they rave over it, how the size of it, um, how much you, how much it is, and so it's a blueberry capote with drizzled lemon frosting topped with whipped cream and powdered sugar. And for the price, it's only seven fifty. But like I said, if you're an AP, it's even cheaper. So I think three people can actually share this, uh, you know, the funnel cake. You know, it's uh, when it comes to you know having that, you want that sweet snack. Um, you have the lemon, you have the blueberry. What's great about it too is you can get everything on the side. So if somebody doesn't like blueberry, um, you know they the capote on the, on the side, or the the lemon frosting on the side, which uh, sometimes we do too. Because uh, Taylor, we always get the strawberry one sometimes with me and Taylor share, but she doesn't like the strawberry drizzles on top because it makes the uh, which she likes it crispy, which I do too. So, you know, the blueberry lemon funnel cake over at the Hungry Bear restaurant over in Adventure, or not Adventure Land, Critter Country. Try that. Yeah. My last item from Epcot is going to be the school bread, which is found in Norway at Kringla Og. Kringla, oh, I'm having problems saying this. Kringla Bakery <laughs> Og Cafe. Oh, there, I got it out. Hmm. Um, it is, it's a pastry. It's got some coconut on top, some custard. Uh, it's, it's, you can share it. I mean, it's a, it's not huge, but it's a good size uh, thing to share, especially if you wanted, if you're planning to do a lot of snacking, then definitely get that <clears throat> and, and share it. But it's one of the most popular um dishes i you know a lot of times people are looking to like try and make it at home um i have not tried to do that yet because since I don't, <laughs> i'm not really a baker i'm more of like i'm i am a cook not a baker uh and i think it's yeah. the fact that there's so much measuring and you have to be precise when it comes to baking that that's just not my thing i'm kind of like oh, i'm gonna throw a little of this in a little of that in you can't do that when you're baking so when you're oh, big, yeah, you can do this. Well, you can do this while you're cooking, you know, whichever the that little sprinkle thing is that the guy does on the online, which got famous. But yeah, when it comes to baking, you have to measure everything. That I can uh -huh. definitely attest to. Um, teaspoons, tablespoons, cups, everything. Just yeah, you can't do a dash of this and a dash of that like when you're cooking. Baking, even when we were when we did the uh um, some of the demonstrations for Food and Wine Festival when she was baking the uh, whoopie pie, I believe. Was that what we were watching? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 You're supposed so, to that. Yeah. She, I think she even said when it comes to baking, use exact ingredients. Don't just estimate, um, you know, and you'll come out with perfect, perfect baked goodies that you can send my way over here in California. And so just, just I'll Facebook you my address. Just send them over to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, so, so, um, I, yeah, well, I haven't stuck really to Disney, California. Yeah. If there is another park over in Disneyland resort. So Disney, California, um, I'll stick to one place right there, which you can grab a lot of snacks at. And that's over at the cozy cone in cars land. You can grab, uh, you know, a lot, any type of a, you know, drinks you want, sodas, floats. Um, you could do ice cream, popcorn. They got different flavored popcorns, uh, churros for ch with chocolate sauce. But this one's one of my favorite, and that's the chili cone queso cone over at the Cozy Cone. Um, and that is just, it's just one of the breaded cones. They put a good amount of chili on top. Uh, or inside and then cheese on top and it hits the spot. It's perfect to take with you to walk everywhere. They do have uh, the mac and cheese uh, cone too, which is mac and cheese inside with bacon on top. So if combine the two and it's phenomenal, you will not regret it uh, over in Cars Land over at the Cozy Cone. And then um, I'm going to stick to one more and I'm going to stick 
this drink right here, this is in downtown Disney. If you guys haven't heard about the unicorn frap that they served all over Starbucks, you know, I think it's gone. Uh, but this is kind of a different rendition of it. This is only served from what I hear at downtown Disney in Anaheim. And that's the pink Pegasus Frappuccino. And you can get this at the uh, Starbucks next to um, the, uh, the World of Disney store. And hotcakes from what i understand everybody's uh getting this i'm seeing pictures of it online and it from what i understand it's just a white chocolate mocha with raspberry and a bit of pink magic that's all the description says about it i will try this when i go to the park next time just to uh you know give it a whirl since it's only being served at that downtown disney starbucks and i'll let you guys know what it, how it tastes it's probably going to be too sweet for me like the unicorn frap was but you know, I'll give it a whirl. Um, so yeah, those are all my snacks right there over at the Disneyland Resort. I mean, we could go on and on with this. Oh yeah, I've got yeah. one. I've got one last one, and mine oh, is in the Animal Kingdom. It's flame yeah. at Flame Tree Barbecue, and it is the onion rings with their barbecue sauce. They have two different kinds mm. of barbecue sauce, like your traditional one, and then there's a spicy. And I love the spicy barbecue nice. sauce. And that's like one of my favorite things to stop and snack on. Like I'll either eat it by myself and it's a good portion of onion rings too. Um, either by myself or I'll share it with Al John if he's with me. But last time I ate it all by myself. <laughs> yeah, Taylor. Well, yeah, Taylor will get mad if I don't mention onion rings. I forgot to mention. She loves the onion rings over at Hungry Bear and at Smoke Jumpers Grill. They're I think we're, that we believe they're the same onion rings, but they're beer battered and she'll only get those onion rings there. She won't get them anywhere else except at Hungry Bear or uh, Smoke Jumpers because they're beer battered. No, that's another great snack. So she'll be mad at me if I don't mention that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll have to have those the next time because I haven't yes. been to Smoke Jumpers. So I need to try that next time and get because I love onion rings, especially if you say beer battered onion rings, you've got me sold on it. Like, yes, I yes. want that. I will have that. Yes. So next time, we're we're definitely <laughs> we're gonna have this whole list of like foods that we're, we're gonna be so stuffed by the end of the day. So so many just another day. At, <laughs> just another day at Disneyland for me. <laughs> Always trying good stuff. Well, that is our show for you. Our favorite and some of the best must try snacks at the Disney parks. Thanks so much for downloading the show. As uh, we are part of the We Be Geeks Networks, we can be found on iTunes, streamed on Stitcher, and watched on YouTube. Um, and on YouTube, it's gonna be under the dining, uh, the dining at Disney. Be sure to like and subscribe to our feeds, share with your friends, and if you've got a second, give us a rating. We'd love a five-star re rating and review. Um, in an upcoming episode, we're actually going to be reading some of your reviews that you've written. So uh, if you want to hear nice. yourself mentioned, yes. go on there and write us a nice little review. Or you can write us a bad review, and yes. we're going to read those too, <laughs> if we've got it. We'll take so, um, <laughs> If you're looking to support the show, you can always do do that by shopping our affiliate links, the Disney Store, Garden Grocers, and Jelly Belly, or pick up one of our eBooks as well. So, Bubba, tell everybody where they can find you on the interwebs. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram, Big underscore Bubba underscore B, and uh, you know we're starting to get ready for Galax Guardians of the Galaxy to open in the next couple of weeks. You guys got Pandora opening in the next couple of weeks. Yep. So it's going to be an ex it's gonna be a review on the food. Hopefully oh. we get to see it, um, during the I hope you time. guys do. I cannot wait for your review on that. I can't wait to see what they're going to be offering you guys there at Pandora. And um, you know we got the summer of superheroes over here at California Adventures, which. Guardians is coming up uh, for the attraction, and I can't wait for this summer to start, so let's get it. Let's get it going. <laughs> as far as dining at Disney, you can find us at diningatdisney.com. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Periscope, and my personal favorite, Instagram. I love Instagram. Uh, yes. And I definitely will be posting. Um, preview is going to be on the 18th. Uh, so we'll be posting live from there. Um, 
some images of Pandora, the world of Avatar for you. If you guys have a show you would like for us to do, a topic uh, you want us to discuss, you've got some questions or comments, you can always email us at podcast at dining at Disney.com. Thanks so much for listening. Until next time, bon appetit.